We start this chapter by considering an example that we've worked on before. On check of the syntax, we get some errors. All these errors are of the same nature. We do not have variable first number defined. The only change we introduced was removing parameter first number from the region variables. Now first number is defined only in the main program region. Thus, first number is visible only in region main program and function range cannot call it. Let's analyze the example below. And the result is In this example, we've created a local variable, first number, for procedure range, and one more local variable, first number, for region main program. Every local variable defined in a particular block, uh, procedure, function, region, is visible only inside such block. So if we switch to the 1C enterprise mode, we can see different first number values called from different blocks. Notice that the application displays first number variable from region main program first, while the other variable comes second. Global variables are defined in region variables. These variables are visible in any part of the program. A new value for a global variable can be assigned anywhere in the body of the program, but make sure to assign a new value to a global variable before you start using it. Otherwise, it stays undefined. Consider the following example. In this example, we have created local variable first number in procedure local. In that case, global variable first number is no longer available for procedure local because it already has a parameter with an identical name. Procedure global and region main program use value first number stored as a global variable. And here is the result. Here is some advice. Avoid too many global variables in your code. Local variables are set when a program accesses the block where these variables are defined and get terminated when the program leaves this block. At that, global variables stay in RAM as long as the program is running. 